How is it going guys? This is Peter here and you are watching the first episode of the chess running guide series. I made a similar video a couple of years ago, but I thought it's time to dust off this topic and also maybe go more into the details on each place. So here we are, this is Hell's Precipice guide, a place which is most famous for those juicy magma shields. Just to let you guys know, a perfect or almost perfect magma shield is worth a ton of hectoles. Uh, this one I sold for 35 arm races, uh, which is close to 5000 hectoles, and it wasn't even max modded. So this is a good reason to do chest running here. Generally speaking, you should be running this in hard mode with an assassin. Other chars can complete the farm as well, but I think Asa is the most comfortable here. As long as you have spell prevention like shadow form and some increased movement speed, you'll be successful. The difficulty of the run lies in the burning titans, you know, they are fast, they can remove stances, they can smash you to the ground and you can't really outrun them. But don't you worry guys, because 98% of the time you can take care of them with some snares. About the gear, I highly recommend Blast the Insignias and the shield with the plus 10 armor versus fire damage. Almost all creatures deal fire or elemental damage here, uh, keep this in mind. You can go and do this farm on your own too, but heroes are perfect meat shields for the first part of the run. Paragons, warriors, monks, etc. I also like to pop a cupcake at the beginning, but the build is capable of finishing the run without any pecans too. So after you have the gear, the weapons, the heroes and the cupcake just enter the mission. By the way, the full run takes around 3 minutes and you may get 2 or 3 chests, depending on the spawns. First of all, avoid the first group after the bridge and keep left. Heroes will give you a nice speed boost and then just stop at the next bridge, but don't aggro anything yet. I stopped the clip here for some time, so at this crossroad you can turn left and right. And the only time I choose left is if there is a chest at the sparks. Otherwise, like 95% of the runs, I go right. Suddenly there are two burning titans uh, after the sparks and trust me you don't want to deal with two at the same time. Now there is no chest there, we should go to the other direction. If you notice we have a quickening zephyr here, meaning all skills recharge 50% faster. Because of that simply use shadow form, no need for paradox at all. And also use I'm unstoppable, storm chaser and target the burning titan ahead. The news, you move like a dwarf and slalom through the fools like I do. Advice to save uh, your teleport skills for later because the sparks over the lava may be close enough to, to discharge on them, saving you like 15 seconds. Target the next titan and use the dwarf skill again. Usually this is the part when I activate Shadow of Distress and there is a locked chest finally here. Quickly open it and let's hope you brought lock back picks and also keep an eye on the titans because they might catch up by now. Extend the cripple duration and keep left. At the Ancient Zir I like to discharge on the Titan to save some seconds. It may follow you for a few meters but will go back to the kill the Zir. Now keep right and check the hill on, the, on your right side. No chest this time and now we reach the final phase of this farm. Uh, as you can see the Rise of Nation Hawks are quick and follow us for a long time but it's not a problem since they don't do any damage. Many times a chest spawns in this lava area use I am unstoppable before going into that and also try to leave this place as fast as possible. Burning means HP degen and some nasty warriors in your back and now make a turn and go to those big blue portals. Uh, chests spawn there very often uh, but sadly as I have experienced those drop undead skins and not magmas. But a true chest runner leaves no chest unopened so go for it and finish the run. Then type slash resign uh, or map travel back and restart the farm. And now some data for nerds. Uh, as the title of this video says, I've collected data from, uh, from 1000 chests. The most important of all stats is the magmas drop rate. Sadly magmas have a gold and a purple version too. And this limits our chances even more. But to be honest you only need one good drop and you won the lottery. So after 1k opens uh, I've got 29 magma shields, this means 2.9%. Uh, mm, of, of all these magmas, 21 golds and 8 purple magmas, only, only 5 Q9 ones. Uh, I guess you understand it by now. From 1000 chests, only 5 Q9 magmas, this is one of the reasons why their prices are crazy. 
A few words about the other drops. Um, the majority of the drops were Titan armors, which is actually quite good because you get a lot of valuable runes. I got 4 superior vigors, 11 superior dominations and 2 prodigies. So even if you don't get any rare magma, you end up uh, having more cash than you had before. And we have some very basic skins like canes, dead bows, fire wands and so on. Elite and normal tomes are also quite frequent drops here, both around 4% chance. And probably there are dozens of other stats and data to talk about, but I will leave them to you. Stop the video here and check all the infos. So guys, I hope after watching this video you'll be start chest running too. Uh, this is a really fun thing in my opinion and one lucky drop is all you need. That's it for today. If you have questions to ask, write a comment and as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.